Pop-up windows are commonly used to engage and inform your site visitors about updates, discounts, and limited offers. Also, they help generate leads and increase the number of subscribers. In this video, we'll talk about how to create a pop-up for your website and choose the best triggers for it. A starting point for creating a pop-up is in the editor of a website near the Pages menu. Click on the pop-up button and then on the plus icon to open the library of available pop-up layouts. All of these are ready-to-use designs. Pick one that looks best to you or select a custom block to create a pop-up from scratch. Add the pop-up name and hit Done. Now click on the name you just added to open the pop-up editing mode. Regardless of the type of pop-up you choose, you can further customize it. For instance, if you selected a pre-designed layout, you can still add or delete elements, as in any other block, plus work on the pop-up background. If you opted for an empty pop-up, go ahead and add more elements by clicking on the plus icon. Once you're done designing the pop-up, let's set the rules of its appearance. For that, select a pop-up, click on the gear icon, and open the triggers tab. The choice of pop-up triggers depends on the goals you set. For example, if there is a special offer in your store, it's best to display a pop-up right after the visitor enters the site. Try the trigger show after page load and add a delay if needed. Another example, if you'd like to keep a visitor who browsed a website but didn't engage enough, try show on exit intent. This pop-up will appear once the cursor leaves the viewport, for example when the visitor is about to click on the exit icon in the browser. Besides, you can combine some of the triggers. To ensure that the pop-up is not annoying for the visitor, set the frequency in the drop-down here. Next, in the Behavior tab, you can select the option of closing the pop-up by clicking the Escape key or outside the window. In the Layout tab, there are settings for the pop-up width and also a close icon. Finally, there is a wide choice of pop-up animations in the Relevant tab. These were the basic settings available in the pop-up editing mode. Apart from those, you can also add a pop-up as a click action on a button. This is a great way to display contact forms or additional information. For that, locate the button in the editor, open its settings, and choose a pop-up from the drop-down list. Publish the website for the changes to take effect. Here's how it will look on the live site. As you can see, the pop-ups can be used in a variety of ways, mainly for marketing purposes. Just use the layout and triggers that you like and you are good to go.